Hello! Okay, this is going to be a quick video today. See all these bottles? They are small mouth. Now normally when I buy a water bottle, I buy a larger mouth because I really like to clean them well. However, these are soda stream bottles that go with our soda stream and they have a specific top that's needed on them and so they're smaller mouth. Well what happens is these things get all dirty and dingy. Like look at that. That's gross. Nobody wants to drink out of that. Well these are hard to clean. I mean, I put soap in here, I shake them, I clean them, I do as much as I can. I try to use my little straw cleaner sometimes, um, but they just don't get clean. So I have a trick for you that uses nothing but one of these light switch metal hangers that hang down from like your, your fan in your living room and whatnot, and it's a big, long one. I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean these bottles using nothing but this and a little bit of soap. Having this on hand in my kitchen is a lifesaver when it comes to cleaning water, mouth, uh, water bottles with small mouth tops as well as my oil cruxes where I put my flavored olive oils and vinegars and stuff in and then I switch out my flavors or they need to be cleaned in between uses and so this is a handy tool so let's show you how to use it. This is a beaded chain. See this thing? These are, you'll all notice these, you've all seen them before. They come like this for ceiling fans. This is simple. All you do is you feed your chain into your bottle, leaving one end out. Okay? I leave out the end that has the little connector, just because that's what I do. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You take your soap and you put a little in your bottle. I'm just going to put a little spray in there. You add just a touch of water, you put your hand over the end, and you start shaking. This is as simple as this. You want that chain to touch everywhere. So I like circle it around, I get it up at the top, and then it just comes right out. It's already looking a million times better. Oh goodness. Then, let's Rinse out a little bit of the soap. It doesn't take much water to do this. I probably added a little much there. I've lost a bunch of my chain amongst my fingers here. I love to just circle and spin mine like that because it gets it all the way around the edge. And this bottle looks so much better. Um, you saw how bad it looked beforehand. Then I have, let's see, I need to turn my camera over here. You guys know we got this glass cleaner from Hiptus last year. Hopefully my camera will focus, huh? focus on the bottle. Let's see. And back here, I then just kind of spray these out. Now, these little tiny mouth bottles like this, this hip just likes to explode on me, but I figured out a way to do this. Um, and then I rinse off the outside as I would wash it. So now you see this is an extremely uh, clean bottle. So then we just stick it in our dish rack. So let's show you how to do the oil cruxes. This one's pretty clean, but like this one has been pretty dirty. So again, we're going to stick the chain in, keeping one end out. I don't know where the end is. Just keep a piece out of it. It will come out, but sometimes, I'll tell you, I've had it get stuck one time because um, I left the whole thing in there and then it got into a, a matted knot and then I couldn't get it to come out the bottle opening. And so it really is good to leave one end out so you can work, work it out. Again, I get mine spiraling around. Oh, it's beautiful. You can, oh, see, there's the, the little bit of the spiraling mess that it sometimes comes into. I have a sink um, holder there, so mine's not going to go down the drain. Make sure if you stick it in your sink that it doesn't go down a garbage disposal or a, a drain or whatnot. And again, we then just clean it out. And now this is beautifully clean. When it's time to put my chain away, what I do is I just get out a nice towel. I, one, I unwind it because it gets all tangled and messy in these cups, in these um, water bottles and stuff. So I just take a minute and give it a good 
unwind, which also, then I set it out on this towel to dry. So, so now that I have it unwound, I, let, I lay it out here to dry. Mine's almost dry. By the time you unwind it, you've played with it enough that it's pretty close to being dry. But I just take it and I pat it dry with a towel. Make sure that there's nothing left on it, like I don't feel any moisture on this anymore. And then I take my little box here, this kind of open, and I just put it away. So I just stick it back in there. And then I keep this in a drawer in my kitchen that I don't use very often, and bam, it's ready the next time that I want to clean my, my bottles. Now the dirtiest of all of the bottles was this one right here. This was my husband's, and it's not quite dry yet, but then the cleanest of all of them was this one right here. This is the newer one that we don't use very often, and you can see now they're almost identical. It's every bit as clean as the new bottle now. You saw how easy it is in order just to use a ceiling fan chain to clean your small mouth water bottles from getting really dingy and disgusting on the inside of them. Good luck! Let me know if it works for you and how excited that you are that the inside of your water bottles are finally clean. <laughs> Bye!